Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be giving you some advice as to how you should migrate from Windows or Mac OS, over to a Linux system. If you are thinking of migrating from Windows, or Mac OS, it's important to consider a few things. 1. What will you be using your computer for? 2. What is the reason you want to move away from your current OS? And for 3. Is there any advantage in using a Linux system, as opposed to Windows or Mac? If you have a reason to move to Linux, I would suggest you try it out, either as a live system, or an installed system, inside a virtual machine. Of course, the method of using Linux in a VM slows things down a bit, but you can test out everything you need to, and I find that lighter distros work best in virtual machines. Also, you need to consider the software you use, and whether or not you can find a great alternative, because chances are, you may have Windows or Mac specific software that does not natively support Linux, so you would either want to use a virtual machine, or compatibility programs such as Wine, or Crossover, or, find a free and open source replacement of sorts. Unfortunately, some free and open source stuff isn't quite as good as the paid software, take for example Adobe Acrobat, which if you pay for the pro version, you will get editing features, amongst other features, but since Adobe Acrobat does not natively support Linux, you would need to use something in place of it, and Ocular, a free alternative, isn't very good, but it does get the job done. Although it is indeed possible to run Sumata a PDF, or Adobe Acrobat, on Linux using Wine, or another compatibility layer program, although this in itself hinders the performance to some extent, and some Windows programs do not work under Wine, or they don't work properly, so Wine is a bit of a hit or a miss, more so being a miss than a hit, so using a Windows virtual machine could be the best way to do this, but once again, you're restricted, and this is largely due to virtual machines not having full access to hardware and ports, thus slowing down the virtual machine, so don't expect any high-end applications to run on Linux with either Wine or a virtual machine. Thankfully however, plenty of great free alternatives exist out there on Linux, and as a result, it may make the transition process easier, depending on what you're looking for, and what you plan on doing with your PC. Some distros of Linux are specifically aimed at beginners and novice users, take for example Linux Mint, a well-known distro that looks similar to Windows, or Ubuntu, arguably the most popular distro out the that's based on Debian, or if you like Arch Linux, why not look at Manjaro, Arch Linux made the easy way, and even something like MX Linux might float your boat, but at the end of the day, this is totally dependent on your preferences. This being said, I can highly recommend these awesome Linux distros, which include Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Peppermint OS, Bodhi Linux, and Manjaro Linux, for something a little different. There are plenty of ways to try Linux before switching to it, and if you really wanted to, you could try all the various distros out there, but if you want to settle in on one particular distro, trying a bunch of them will make this difficult, as you don't know what's best for you, so I advise you try a beginner friendly distro, just to get a taste of Linux. In my next survival guide video, I will show you how to install a Linux virtual machine, and try out various different things within Linux, as well as using Wine to run certain Windows applications, but until then, that's it for this video folks. Do remember to like, share, and subscribe, and do enable notifications, so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.